23 degrees. All I can see is blue sky as I look out the window. A little bit of wind around, but, uh, gee, we're just lapping it up, aren't we? Loving every second of it. Uh, I think we need to start a new segment called uh, I'm Not a Wowser, But... Or we could call it Wowser Watch. We haven't quite settled on the name yet, but I kind of like I'm not a Wowser. But there are a few stories floating around today, and I'll detail them for you later, with people who either have far too much time on their hands, enjoy looking for problems, or enjoy looking for things that they can be offended and outraged about. There are a bunch of them, and please feel free to add to the list. The Jetstar Spin Doctors and PR team Uh, have had an engaging day since the story broke in the Daily Telegraph this morning that one of their attendants on a flight from the Gold Coast to Sydney gave a strange warning over the little PA system. We believe it went a little like this, but I might add uh, that some of the words may have changed. Attention passengers on board the Jetstar flight from uh, Sydney to Brisbane. We are currently at 20,000 feet and about 25 minutes away from your destination. The temperature on the ground currently is a pleasant 22 degrees. Uh, We've just been told that there are sniffer dogs and quarantine officers waiting at the domestic terminal. So if you need to dispose of anything that you shouldn't have, then um, we suggest that you flush it down. Please put your tables and chairs back to the upright position and have an enjoyable rest of your flight. On behalf of myself and the cabin crew, we'd like to thank you for flying Jetstar, taking care of our passengers when they're high and when they're on the ground. Yes, as I mentioned, uh, some of the words may have been changed just for reasons of jocularity. But yeah, turn off all your electronic devices and don't forget to flush your dope, dude. Uh, The in-flight movie will be uh, Cheech and Chong, and uh, we will be at the end of the flight serving some ice vovos and some corn chips for you, just in case you get the munchies a little later on. Jetstar said that it was, this is the bit I love, Jetstar said it was an overzealous, casually employed crew member that made the announcement. I don't know how, this is a strange use of a language, I don't know how you can be overzealous and casual at the same time, but anyway, that's another story. There were plenty of festival goers coming back from Splendour in the Grass, which was the music festival that was happening on the Gold Coast, and they were coming home. Look, we can get a bit serious in the world, but Fedinkham, an Australian airline worker, warning the passengers about the authorities at the other end. Jetstar has given the usual, uh, we're addressing the matter, but perhaps they should employ some people that are kind of a little less than casual. It'll be interesting to see what Jetstar come up with here. Customs people will be absolutely furious, and I wouldn't blame them. Quarantine people, absolutely furious. And the Australian Federal Police should be questioning the workers and the management about this to make sure it doesn't happen again. If you don't mind, I would really rather that drugs are kept away from travelling into the city. (laughs) 